Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. In an earlier Vortex, we reported that between the years of 2008 and 2014, three million Catholics left the faith in the United States. So we went digging to see what the numbers are for the last 15 years since the turn of the century, essentially one generation. Brace yourselves here. According to the most recent data from solid sources, in the year 2000, 18 million Americans identified themselves as former Catholics, those who had left the faith. One generation later, as of 2016, that number had swelled to 30 million. 11 million more Catholics left the faith since the turn of the century. There are more Catholics over 50 than under 50. And there are more Catholics over 65 than under 30. And the percentage of young people, those under 30, in the church is a smaller percentage than almost any other religion. Only Jehovah's Witnesses and mainline Protestants have a smaller percentage of young people comprising their ranks than Catholics. And even there, Catholics are a hair's breadth away from being dead last. 17% of the church is comprised of people under 30. 16% of mainline Protestants are people under 30. And 15% of Jehovah's Witnesses are people under 30. Buddhists, Hindus, Jews, Mormons, Muslims, and the Eastern Orthodox all have larger percentages within their ranks of people under 30 than the Catholic Church does. Over the next 15 years, we can expect to see the raw number, the straight, pure number of Catholics begin to drop off even more dramatically. One out of every five Catholics right now, today, is over 65. One out of five. Almost all those people will be dead in 10 to 15 years, and they aren't being sufficiently replaced. Additionally, we're beginning to reach the moment where there will be more Catholics who have actually left the faith than there are those who still claim to be in it. Although there are conflicting data on the actual number of Catholics in the U.S., a safe number is about 73 million. 30 million Catholics, as we said before, no longer call themselves Catholic. Just another six or seven million leaving the faith, and there will be, far, there will be more former Catholics than those who still identify as Catholics. At current trends, which show no slowing up or changing, we will reach that moment in about three years, right around 2020. We already know from surveys during the campaign that the percentage of, percentage of Catholics relative to the overall U.S. population has slipped from the historically stable number of 25% to roughly 20%. And the percentage of Catholic voters dropped from 26% to approximately 21%. This is a church in full-blown retreat, 11% less parishes since 2000. 18% less priests, and only two-thirds of what priests there are are in active ministry. The other third are too old for active ministry. Graduate-level seminarians essentially flatlined. The slight increase in the numbers of priestly ordinations is nowhere near enough the number needed to replace those dying. Not by half, in fact. Infant baptisms, off by a third. Adult conversions, down by 40%. First Holy Communions and Confirmations also both down, and marriages, perhaps the most significant barometer for the future life of the church, down almost, get this, 50% since the year 2000. In fact, the only two sacraments that there aren't officially horrible numbers for are the only ones there are no official records for, confession and anointing of the sick. But any Catholic with working eyes knows the number of confessions has also fallen off the cliff. Even the number of Catholic funerals since the year 2000 has dropped by 16%. This entire disaster, and that is what it is, must be placed squarely at the feet of the U.S. hierarchy, who have done nothing meaning meaningful to arrest the decline and have in many ways helped speed it along. What business would tolerate such horrible results from its managers and directors? It would have fired them more than a decade ago for complete incompetence. We here at Church Milton often get blamed for causing division, right? Oftentimes by many of the bishops and their staffs. Well, look at these numbers, Your Excellencies. Large numbers. Numbers largely taken from your own data. You own them. Don't blame us. 
The vast majority of Catholics have no idea who we are. It's not causing division to point at the house burning and yell fire. Your lackluster, Protestant-minded, false ecumenism, happy clappy, fake joy, heresy accommodating, tradition-hating strategies are responsible for this failure. You and your staffs have caused the division, not us, not others, you. You have given young people nothing to commit to other than embracing worldly causes, which they don't need you to tell them to do. You have abandoned or destroyed one tradition after another to the point that now we have arrived at a point where there is no longer any Catholic identity to speak of. You have allowed and even encouraged a flood of abuses in the liturgy, the seminaries, religious houses, schools, and colleges, so that young people have no idea what being Catholic means. So understandably, they have no loyalty to it. You have not taught, you have not encouraged, you have not loved. And accordingly, your sheep are abandoning you. You have ground underfoot the patrimony of tens of millions of Catholics from former generations and sold it off. And you rip into loyal Catholics who point this out to try and wake up what few remaining Catholics there are before it's too late, if it isn't, in fact, already too late. Your ill-advised Protestant-based evangelization efforts and emotional theatrical presentations won't turn this around. All you are doing is putting into high gear what you've already been doing since the year 2000 and truthfully before that. In the next 15 years, when most of you will have been judged by Almighty God, you will stand before Him and be directly responsible for a church in America that will be unrecoverable owing to your spiritual cowardice. You will have to explain to Jesus Christ one by one how you embraced the world instead of converting it. Your lampstand has been taken away. You need to meditate on that in the quiet of the night when there is no one around except you and God. And you need to tremble and quake at the fate that awaits you at your judgments if you don't reverse course immediately. Pray for them, Catholics. Pray that the majority of them will wake up before they all die in their sins in a few years. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.